Hey guys, so today I am here to do something a little bit different from my channel. I am going to be showing you some of the planner supplies that I've picked up recently because there have been some really great sales for planner supplies and since 2016 is coming up, I'm kind of just like restocking and I'm getting really excited. So I've, you know, picked up some stuff. So I'm going to start with the stuff that I got at Target. So the first thing that I picked up at Target is just this little marbled notebook and it has stickers to monogram it and it's kind of just like a little pocket notebook and I'm going to try to use this as a sidekick. I've seen them around a little bit and it's something that I'm going to consider giving a try. Like a little like mini travel size bullet journal that I can keep with me in my purse just to quickly jot something down. And then the second thing I got was this planner kit which came with some little magnets and flags and stickers. And then I also picked up a two pack of these pens. I've heard some pretty good things about the Target dollar section pens, so I picked up a package of them, and I think I'm going to keep these in my purse with the other little notebook. One just says, think big, and the other one says, start today, and they're just little ballpoint pens. I haven't tried them out really yet to know how they write. So hopefully I won't be let down. But otherwise they're cute and they're just like a good little pen to have in my purse. Right, and then I also got this little pack of mechanical pencils. They're floral and really pretty. I think that they will be good for kind of some pre-sketching before I go in with another tool with like color to make sure that, that everything looks nice. And I don't know, I just like that they were cute. Right, and then the last thing that I remember getting in the taller Target sec dollar section were these gel pens. It was just a three pack and it has gold, silver, and a pink color. They have a pretty standard size tip and I'm not crazy thrilled about them, but they're not super disappointing either. After after a few different layers, or like writing over it a few different times, the gold comes out looking like that, so it's not too bad. I usually go over my writing a few times anyway, so it works. Right, and then just randomly somewhere, I think it was at the Dollar Tree, I picked up this little package of washi tape. It was a two-for-one, and it came with gold and silver sparkle. They are just super pretty and sparkly, and I think I'm going to use the gold for my, to mark, um, my stuff for January. Alright, and then the last place that I picked stuff up at was Michael's. They were having a bunch of huge sales. They still are, and that's really the reason why this whole haul is existing at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I got there. So in light of what I re just showed you, I also got another package of washi tape. I think it was $2, but it was really cute. And I mean, like, you can't have too much washi tape. It just looks like this. It's kind of a light pink color, and it has gold foil bows on it. And I thought it was really precious and something that I could use at some point. I feel like I could use this for a lot of different needs. Alright, and then the next thing I picked up is from Heidi Swap, and I believe she does the Happy Planner, and they're just some floral stickers that have some little bit of um, motivational, motivational <laughs> wording with it, and I thought they were really pretty. They'd be really cute little decorations for like in the springtime, and they were on sale for like a dollar, so I couldn't resist. Also from Heidi Swap, I picked up this little notepad I'm going to use for inserts. They just, it's perforated 
and it kind of goes with the stickers. These are all of the different patterns as just a little bit of like extra decoration or to mark important pages in my notebook. Also with the Heidi Swap stuff, I picked up these little tabs and I for some reason thought they were going to be like the magnetic kind, but they really aren't. They're just like inserts for dividers. But I realized that I could probably just tape these onto the sides of pages with some washi tape and it would be really helpful. And I don't really need to move them that often and there's a lot too. So I think I'm still going to find a use for these. And then in their clearance section, I just picked up this Martha Stewart crafting kit for stamps to make like borders and that kind of thing. It comes with all of the stuff you would need and directions on how to do it. So I'm really excited to try this out and use this on the edges of my pages. And to go along with that, I just got some ink. They were having a buy two, get one free. So I got pink, green, and this blue color. I also got a marker set while I was there. It's all of these markers and the different colors and everything. It said that they were brush markers, but when you look at the tip, the tips are kind of more of just a felt tip. They are not really brushy, and I kind of practiced writing with them last night. I'm not super thrilled, but maybe with more practice, I will be better with them. Okay, and then the next thing that I picked up were these watercolor pencils and some brushes to go with them. And it's just something that I really like. I've tried to do it in the past and I wasn't successful. But one of my New Year's resolutions for this year is to... Um, learn more about watercolors and techniques and everything on doing it and I feel like the pencils will be very easy to use in my bullet journal. Okay and the last thing that I picked up isn't necessarily for my bullet journal but it goes with my new year's resolution and it was only ten dollars it's this messenger bag and it comes with a bunch of watercolors and acrylic paints I feel like this is going to be a really good like starter for me and I mean it was on sale for $10 and I feel like the bag alone is worth $10 but I really liked this bag. And here is everything that it comes with, watercolors, acrylic, paints, a pencil, a sketching pencil, I'm assuming, an eraser, a sharpener, some different brushes, um, and then there's, I'm guessing this is, oh, a watercolor pad to practice on, a little one, and then techniques and tips and tricks. So, I'm really excited to try this out and learn how to water paint this year. I feel like, yeah, this will be a really good transition or like starting point. It's really basic and simple and I didn't have to spend like a whole bunch of money on something that I might not enjoy or be any good at. And I can also use it for my bullet journal. And if not, I got this really great messenger bag out of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe because I have a bunch of stuff that I am planning for the new year as far as like planning goes and my bullet journal and I don't think you guys will want to miss it. So I will see you next time. Bye!